What's up party people, Android Stud here, and I have the Pocophone F1, and I wanted to talk about the new stable update from Xiaomi. MIUI 10.3.4.0, this is the stable update. I'll talk a little bit at, about how to install this if you haven't gotten the update, but you should get this over the air on your Pocophone F1. Now, this has a laundry list of updates for the Pocophone F1. And the list is an extensive. So this is a pretty good and major update from Pocophone. My hat's off to Xiaomi and Pocophone team for updating this device on a consistent basis. One of the things they wanted to do was the Widevine L1 support, which they have done. Also the 4K 60 frames per second, which they have done with this update. And a couple other things. There's some bug fixes and things like that. Look, I'm not sure about the touch lag issue and the battery drain issue that is on Android Pie. I've been using it for about a week, so my battery's been good, uh, but I would give it a couple weeks to make sure that you're using the system enough to really judge if the battery has improved. As far as touch lag, I never had that issue, so leave a comment down below so that I know if you're still having that issue with this update. Now. The first major update was the Widevine L1 support. Now that is so you could play HD content on your Pocophone F1. So when you go to Netflix, as long as Netflix has established that they're gonna allow it for the Pocophone F1 or Amazon Prime Video, it depends on what you wanna do. So that is the question when it comes to the Widevine support. But if you go into here, and I'll show you now the DRM, DRM info, you'll see there that my security level is now L1. Now, when you do this update, it should be automatic on your phone, so you won't have to do anything special. But if you need to do it, I will leave instructions on how to do it below in case it's not automatically done. What you gotta do is you gotta set up a fingerprint, go into settings, lock screen, password. You gotta manage your fingerprint, fingerprint payments, and then go into and choose wide vine and then activate the certificate. Make sure you're plugged in to Wi-Fi before you do that. Now, the other major part of the update that the Pocophone F1 did on 10.3.4.0, these numbers, I swear, it's hard to keep, I wish they would just do update 12 or something like that, like, but you know how it is. But the other update is the camera. Now the camera, now you can shoot 4K videos at 60 frames per second now. Um, there's new modes for the AI camera. So when you go into the camera, which and the camera is really excellent on the Pocophone F1. Now I have a video of the 4K 60 frames per second because I had it on the beta. So if you wanna check out that sample, check out the info card up there on the top. I'll also leave a link down in my description so you guys can take it. But if you go into settings, you now have a plethora of different formats that you could do, do 4K 30, which was already there. Now you have 4K 60, which is excellent. And you also have 1080p 60 frames per second, which is excellent. So now you got the 4K video, which is awesome on your Pocophone F1. So if you wanna do that, you know you're gonna be able to rock and roll as far as the frame uh, rate on your Pocophone F1 if you wanna shoot 4K. But check out that video. I also did a video for the 1080p 60 frames per second. So check that out in the info card. Um, if you get a chance. Now, they also have face unlock support. Now, in order to see this update, you're gonna have to change your region to another country like India or somebody else that supports face unlock. But now you can unlock your apps with your face on the Pocophone F1. Now, if you, want, if you wanna activate face unlock, if you're in the United States, it's not, it's not for the region of the United States. So you're gonna have to change your region to like India or another country that does support face unlock. So that is a really, really cool thing. Now, the other thing that I noticed too, and I was talking to Munchie, if you guys haven't checked that out, Munchie Cool, he's got a great channel on YouTube, does a lot of Poco phone coverage like I do. He told me that uh, the, you can get rid of the notch now because before you couldn't get rid of the notch um, on the update before this, which was 10.2.3.0. But now you can get rid of it. If you go into settings and then full screen 
display, I believe it is. I'm having a brain fart of where it's at. Okay, here we go, display. Nope, that's not it. Let me go back. Full screen display right there. Now you can hide the notch. As you see there, the top, you wanna hide notch. Boom, it's gone. I don't, the notch doesn't bother me, so um, it's okay with me. You also obviously have the full screen gest gestures still, which I use, which are really, really cool. A um, Couple other things here on this update that I wanted to talk about. Um, like I said, I'm not sure about the battery yet because I haven't really um, gotten into the battery. Um, but that's the major update. If you know, There's some new modes for the AI camera if you wanna check that out. Um, some other here, and one of the other um, updates they did is they, they're introducing Game Turbo. And that's supposed to help your gaming experience. I'm not a big gamer, but now that's part of um, the big features here on the Pocophone F1. Um, they got a game speed booster, something for the Mi Cloud so that you can uh, improve that. And the other thing too is, is during face unlock, you can face unlock, but keep it on the lock screen. Now, why you would want to do that is beyond me. So, but those are mostly the updates. The phone's running really good, it's rock solid. Um, now, if you want to update this, you simply, let me go back out of here. You're simply gonna go into settings. You're gonna go into about phone. You're gonna go to system update. And then you're gonna hit that little hamburger menu up here. I don't know why they call it hamburger, but I guess because it's the bun, the hamburger, yeah. Okay, anyway. So if you go into there, that little hamburger menu, you hit more, you don't see it there, right? So what you gotta do is you gotta go back out. You gotta hit that, that 10, like 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, now you're good, you have that, that feature, so you go here again, and now you see you have a little bit more. You go here, I'm sorry. You go here, down, choose update package. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna download the update. Put it on your, put it on your, your phone, and then you're gonna go to choose update. And I'll leave a link down to the update down in the description so you can download it and you can do this and then you simply just go into your download folder or wherever folder it's at and you pick it and you flash it and you update it and it's not going to erase anything like your pictures or anything which is kind of cool but always back up your stuff man don't trust me because hey you know what i mean so the other way that you can update now one of the other things too if you want to update that way through the updater app you gotta make sure that you're on 10.2.3.0, then you can update to 10.3.4.0 stable. If you're not on 10.2.3.0, you can't do this. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to flash through twerp recovery, uh, which you'll have to have an unlocked bootloader, you'll have to do all that kind of thing. So that's the only thing about that. And then you could flash it to 10.3.4.0. So. That's the latest and greatest from the Poco phone, man. This is a beast of a phone. I really enjoy this phone. Uh, I'm glad that they got the wide vine support on this bad boy so that you can, you know, you can watch all your cool videos in HD. Not sure if the Netflix is supporting it, but you know what? Um, it'll be good to see if they do at some point. Um, they might even have it now. I can't tell here. I'm sure that some smart people can figure out if this is HD or not. But that's gonna do it, man. I'm Android Stud. You could follow me on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook at Android Stud. Please leave a comment down below if you got any questions about this update, what you guys think of it. Let me know if your battery has improved and all that good stuff because um, you know how it is. And hey, man, subscribe to the channel, like this video, um, be part of the party, people, man. I appreciate you guys watching. That is the stable update for the Pocophone F1 to 10.3.4 stable update. That's going to do it for now. To the next one. I'll see you guys later.